Welcome to the jungle that is the NHL playoffs. It is Friday, which means you need one more daily sports update to get you through the week. What's going on in Lauren Shahadi? Day two of the NHL playoffs. Maybe no beards just yet in time, but definitely a lot of hairy situations going on. The top seeds in both the East and West in action last night, and it's the second straight year the original six rivals have met in the first round. Though the roles have been reversed from 2008 when Montreal was the top seed in the East, Boston was the number eight seed. Now keep in mind, Boston 5-0-1 against Montreal in the regular season, and they take care of it last night as well, doubling up Montreal taking game one and the Ducks showed why they are feared by every potential Western Conference opponent even after an unimpressive regular season they blanked San Jose how about these guys just the defending champs that's all and they gave a little warm welcome to Columbus the Blue Jackets belonged on the ice with the Red Wings for more than half of game one but saw it fall apart Detroit saying this is the NHL playoffs welcome to you Columbus saying no problem we'll see you in game two and Blackhawks waited seven long years to get back to the playoffs an overtime win for them in game one game one for the Celtics is coming up and making strides is what they're working on doing before their first round matchup with Chicago but a tough day all around for Celtics fans Boston general manager Danny Ainge has been hospitalized after suffering what the team described as a minor heart attack he is expected to remain in the hospital for a few days but will recover just fine but will Boston be fine without Kevin Garnett, their star and centerpiece of Boston's 2008 championship and a key to its hopes of a repeat, could miss the playoffs because of a knee injury that has limited him to four games over the final two months of the season. And John Madden is out, but he is out for good. At 73 years old, the Hall of Fame broadcaster has decided to call it quits and hand over his microphone in what will be his first season away from the sport since he was a freshman in high school. After 30 years in the booth, he says, the thing that makes it hard is not because I'm second guessing is this a right decision, but I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed the game and the players and the coaches and the film and the travel. I enjoyed everything. The Yankees are trying to get everything from the old Yankee Stadium, bring it with them to the new one, memories, excitement, greatness, you know, wins. They want to make it home, of course. The clubhouse loaded. It has a two-lane batting cage, video room, weight room, two swimming pools, you name it. Just cavernous, but what they really wanted to focus on was not the luxury of their new digs, but the luxury of something called a win. So, the Yanks opened baseball's fanciest and priciest ballpark Thursday with a performance that money just couldn't help. After an 85-year run in a stadium that produced 26 World Series titles, New York saw its hitters fizzle in the bullpen, come apart in a 10-2 loss to the Indians. But down south, about four hours in the nation's capital, the Nats taking Philadelphia down for their first win of the season. Luke Heron Gody saying another season at Notre Dame may or may not happen. The Fighting Irish forward is putting his name in the NBA draft with the intention of turning pro, but will leave open the option for returning for his senior season. He doesn't plan on hiring an agent, meaning he can pull out of the draft by the June 15th deadline. It is Friday. You're almost there. Hang in there. I'm Lauren Shahadi. I'll see you real soon.